good evening all welcome to this uh, new session this is uh, interesting and a creative session so i have named it as creative radiology uh, we will try to uh, see some interesting signs or appearances uh, in radiology of some normal and even abnormal pathologies so i have given a subtitle like enriching radiology through creativity so this is the first one so this was a case of uh, trauma where you can see there are uh, fat fluid and debris level in the joint space so this is nothing but a classical case of lipohemarthrosis where the fat is less dense which floats in the upper upper half and in the middle layer you can see the serum and synovial fluid and in the lowermost half you can typically see the red blood cells which are more dense so they form the debris level so whenever you see fat fluid debris level in a case of trauma definitely suspect lipohemarthrosis and uh, this is nothing but due to intraarticular fracture most commonly seen around the knee joint where there is leak or escape of the fat and blood from the bone marrow into the joint space so these three layers i have marked so this is the pink uh, fat layer i marked with pink uh, serum or synovial layer, layer with uh, green and even the red blood cells as the uh, orange or brown color so these three layers i have marked and these three layers mimic the three layers of a cassata ice cream so this is nothing but a cassata sign or cassata appearance uh, of the fluid fat fluid debris level in lipohemarthrosis so this is first in literature so cassata sign or cassata appearance in lipohemarthrosis next case here you can see this was a case of young female uh, she came with uh, dyspnea tachypnea and also there are elevated d dimers and there is oxygen saturation is not maintained at room temperature so clinically they are suspecting pulmonary thromboembolism so in this we can see they, there is a wedge shaped or triangular opacity i will enlarge this is the wedge shaped or triangular opacity noted in the postbasal segments of right lower lobe with base pointing towards the pleura and the apex pointing towards the pulmonary arteries or towards the hilum and also you can see there is a filling defect noted in the right main pulmonary artery and also in extending into the segmental and subsegmental branches and on the, the lung window you can see this is the wedge shaped opacity so whenever you see uh, wedge shaped triangular opacity with multiple bubbly lucencies you can see these are the multiple bubbly lucencies or cystic lucencies or a cystic air spaces within the wedge shaped opacity with base pointing towards the pleura and the apex pointing towards the thrombosed pulmonary vessel definitely suspect pulmonary infarct this is a case of pulmonary infarct in uh, pulmonary thromboembolism and common differential can be collapse and consolidation so this one closely mimics a pizza slice so i have uh, named it as uh, pizza in lung or pizza slice in lung so this is first in literature so uh, pulmonary infarct or wedge shaped triangular opacity mimicking a pizza slice so that's why i named it as pizza in lung appearance so remember uh, pizza in lung in case of pulmonary infarct secondary to pulmonary thromboembolism next case this was a case of choroidal detachment you can see this is there's a choroid is completely detached and there is a accumulation of fluid in the subchoroidal space so this is classically mimics the baseball so whenever there is choroidal detachment which mimics the baseball so this is called as baseball sign in choroidal detachment and also classically previously in literature it has known as kissing choroid sign so this choroidal detachment appearance more aptly mimics a baseball so i wanted to name it as baseball sign or baseball appearance in choroidal detachment this is also first in literature next case here you can see uh, this is the normal foramen magnum and these are the brain stem even the tonsils and part of cerebellum and the vertebral arteries so this typically mimics a mouse face or mouse appearance so this is nothing but mouse in hole appearance or mouse in the foramen magnum so this is nothing but the medulla this is the medulla which mimics the head of the mouse and even the vertebral arteries which mimics the eyes of the mouse and also the tonsils and part of the cerebellum which mimics the body of the mouse so this is classical mouse in hole appearance or mouse in foramen appearance classically seen at the level of foramen magnum in a normal brain and commonly seen in young or even pediatric age groups thanks to dr jazz for contributing this uh, classical image so remember mouse in hole or mouse in foramen appearance uh, for a case of normal medulla and cerebellum along with the vertebral arteries next case this is nothing but a classical case of uh, bilateral medial medullary infarction here you can see this is the bilateral medial medullary infarction so whenever in the medulla so this classically mimics a heart so this is nothing but uh, classical heart sign or heart sign heart appearance in bilateral medial medullary infarction so remember heart sign or heart heart appearance in bilateral medial medullary infarction 
next this is the last one uh, here this is nothing but the dilated ivc here you can see this is the dilated ivc and these are the multiple hepatic veins which are draining into the ivc which are distended or dilated so this appearance wall of this appearance mimics the uh, deer horn sign or nothing but a deer head along with the horns of the deer so thanks to dr Rav ravi kadasne sir for contributing this classical image so deer horn sign is nothing but uh, dilated inferior vena cava with engorged hepatic veins where the inferior vena cava forms the head and engorged hepatic veins forms the horns which is the most reliable sign and important diagnostic clue in uh, diagnosing patchy passive congestive hepatopathy uh, due to hepatic fa heart failure so this is the classical deer horn sign in uh, congestive heart failure and the, where there will be passive congestive hepatopathy so these are the few interesting creative signs which uh, i wanted to share with you i hope you like this session and share with all your uh, juniors colleagues thank you all